and welcome back to the channel I've got to wait here because the lights red and today extremely noisy vehicle behind me I'm back in the Peak District and today I'm at Chapel on the Frith now there's a 12th century church here which I'm going to try and find and it's St Thomas Becket the church it's where 1500 Scottish soldiers were imprisoned and starved to death thankfully I'm not Scottish now that's very quintessentially English apart from the fact it sells pizza a lot of remedial work going on here also that's the noisy car horrible bloody thing right I'm gonna make my way down into well the village there's an awful lot of traffic passes through here you can see there used to be a door there Let me just get over the pie master Oh, we spotted pies and a butcher's. They spotted the pies, they're in there, might pop in there later. But yep, I don't know what this is, or once was, but there was a door there, there isn't now. Still can't go any further, red light. Anyway, let's pop over up there, see if we can find this 12th century church, the St Thomas Becket. And here's Chapel under Frith's War Memorial. Chapel under Frith, who served in the Great War. This year is Falklands 40 and 40 years later. Good grief, the Falklands was 40 years ago. Wow, I remember it well. Lovely to see this, lovely to see this. Chapel's post office, high peak tech, bookies. And there are the Grand King's Arm, which I'm pretty sure is uh, closed down. Now there in the distance is a church. There's a couple of churches in Chapel. Um, I don't know whether that's a 12th century one. This is Thomas Beckett, but I'm going to find out. There's quite a lot of uh, pubs in Chapel. Quite a lot of pubs. Royal, Royal Oak, Deacon's Bank, I'm not sure what that is. I will go around and have a look later. I'll let you know. Nice tree. That's quite early in the morning. Had I come any later, parking is extremely difficult in Chapel on the Frith. So I'm glad I got here earlier and found a place to park. Which is way down there. Here you have all the information you need. Ah, 13th century parish church. I thought it was 12th, maybe it's 13th. Coombs Reservoir, been there. Cricket and Football Ground Memorial Park, Town Hall and Library, Heritage Centre, toilets. Ah, St Thomas Beckett Church is there and I am there so it is up there it is that one I was looking at earlier the chapel was built on a prominent site where the present church now stands and a thriving community grew up around it making chapel on the frith an important stopping point for pack horses on the trade routes between Cheshire and Yorkshire the historic town of the capital of the peaks includes la da 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 Not going to go through its entire history. But uh, yeah, some properties down there through that gill. Very nice coffee house, twig. Ale, ciders, wines and spirits, the old cell ale bar. As you can see, there are plenty of places where you can get drunk and chapel chippy traditional fish and chips now i've never had untraditional fish and chips so i'm going to find a place that actually sells untraditional oh, that's for sale so you can't buy fish and chips in there that looks beautiful doesn't it this grit grown grit stone sorry or sandstone or limestone i don't know the coach house 
Let's have a look down here where Pie Master's gone. It's a beautiful old place, Chapel on the Frith. As I say once again, I'm in the Peak District. Very nice and very private. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Very nice. On as we go. Find that church. I hope you can get inside it because uh, I think inside there's actually a whip which was used to keep dogs out of the church. And it is on display apparently. So I'm going to see if I can find that. It's that interesting to see. I'm always taking her dog in there. <laughs> this is the peaceful part up here. Okay, let's find that church. As the Pine Master just pointed out, they're all coach houses. It's where the coaches would once gain access to the properties. There's a nice bull's head stuck on that one. And lovely old wooden door. Splendid. Black diamond properties, there you go. Church Lane, how lovely is that? And here we are, the parish churchyard, St Thomas Beckett Church. We hope you enjoy its peace and tranquility. And at this location, there are Commonwealth war graves. Wonderful. Diocese of Derby. Now that is the strangest looking clock I've ever seen in my life. It is a sundial. Yes, it's a done sundial. Tempus Fugit. What a wonderful building. Get around the back, find the entrance. I don't think I'm at the entrance here, so we'll look elsewhere. That seems quite obvious. That was once an entrance. Tiny, tiny entrance. Gorgeous, peaceful surroundings there. Look at these residential dwellings here. Aren't they fantastic? The stone is just beautiful. Smart water. Mm -hmm. To the glory of God. This extension was made AD 1975. Righty, right. Quite a big yard, churchyard. Quite a big churchyard. So this must be the extension of the St Thomas Beckett Church. Ah, stained glass windows. Fantastic. I do love beautiful old churches. The architecture is just stunning. We don't make anything like this anymore, do we? I'm glad they did. But this time for us to enjoy. What a great tree. Some Christmas decorations left in there from Christmas. Big old thing, isn't it? Wow. Wow, it looks scary. Eerie. Love all this. It's 
growing out of it. Whoa, and look at that one there. Good Lord. Don't know what happened to the bark at the base of it, but yep, that's an old looking tree for sure. And guess what? The church was shot. That's the price you pay for coming out early. But there's a nice little walkway down by the side of the church. And it gives you a fantastic view of a chapel and the surrounding countryside. And it's quite a sight to behold. Absolutely stunning, which you're gonna see in just a minute when we get to the end of this little path. Morning. Good morning. It's quite spectacular. Then we'll have a look at some of the little streets, which are so quaint. It's just gorgeous. Look at the views. Wow. Look at the countryside. Bloody great hills everywhere. Love the trellis on that tree. <laughs> I wonder what they plant on that. Oh, isn't that spectacular? So I'll have a look further down here. And here we are a little bit closer to the beautiful views. Fabulous little cottages everywhere. Look at that. All this nestled right in the middle of all this countryside and hills. What a gloriously peaceful place. We're going to get down to, the, down to the main village on the main road and it's bloody noisy. And that's where we're going right now. Here we are on the corner of Church Brow, and that's where we're going. That leads back down to the main, the main thoroughfare. Oh, this is a bit of uneven underfoot. <laughs> Fantastic little properties. I'm not going to walk down here too fast in case I fall. I'm prone to doing that. Sleepy field. Look at this. Like a clip from Saturday Night Fever. The pigeons. Oh wow. Look at that. How oh, wonderful. Baby house? What's this? Ash house. Okay, five brothers barbers. Probably a family business. <laughs> right, get to the bottom and find somewhere else to look at. Now then. 34 Market Street. So obviously on Market Street. Is that a house? I can just about see up there. Primitive Methodist something. 1852. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love these stone buildings. Just brilliant, man. It's quite a busy road. We're not that far from Whaley Bridge here in Chapel on the Frith. And there's their town hall. In all its splendour. I just, buy, I just adore these properties. Could I live here? Yep, I could. The most modern thing is a satellite dish. And of course the cars that are driving through it. It's not a bad town hall as town halls go. Macclesfield's is better. <laughs> I would say that because I live in Mac. 
What have we got here? First house. Samuel Grundy, Minister. Stephen Bellot. Adam Fox. Bathroom side. Ah, church wardens. Is this where they live? It leads to a very, very small door. A very small door indeed. Oh, and they fabulous properties just everywhere. It's just stunning. If you like old buildings, and I do. Bookkeeper. Wine, craft beer and spirits. Wow, look how small that door is. Good grief. I'm just trying to get your three-piece suite through that. Once you've purchased it. I know wonderful though. And the Chinese takeaway. Golden Dragon. Smoky Joe's Vape Lounge. And there's something down here that I'm gonna need before I set off again. Petrol. Well, what do you think of Chapel on the Frith? It's just typical of your uh, Peak District villages. It may even be a town. But yeah. Or sandstone, or gritstone, or limestone. Properties, very old, no major supermarkets. Most of these Peak District villages are independent. I should say, independent of massive corporate supermarkets, which makes it a very nice place indeed. Having <laughs> just said that, what do I walk into now? A bloody Morrison's. <laughs> yeah, there's me saying no big supermarkets in Peak District villages. Well, here's one that has. Oh well. Let's take a stroll up there because I can see another church. You never know, we might be able to get in that one. Let's try. And there it is. Every little village has water running through it. And here's chapels. And look, <laughs> the little gardens behind these properties there. Nice flag. Nice, nice flag. Well done, mate. Turkish grill. Another Chinese there. King Tu. I see that. That's our somebody's wall. How wonderful. Carpet creations. There you go. Buxton, Manchester, Sheffield, Glossop. None of which are that far away. Well, Manchester is. And Sheffield. To let. I've just been let. Oh, look at that. There's tons of ivy on the wall. I do love visiting these uh, big district villages. They are something else, aren't they? The peace and the quiet. This looks like a relatively new build. I'm approaching here. It's got a playground there, so it could be... Oh, it's a pub. It's a pub. There we go. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Shoulder of mutton. Oh, yeah, it was only Hey guys. So I'm just doing a YouTube video. And there's the shoulder of mutton. Now, this looks lovely, doesn't it? I always come at the wrong time of the day. And you can't get in there and have a drink. I see a lot of security cameras outside. And here, there's another church. It's the Methodist Church. Not cars in the car park. So I may be able to get an entry. I think there may be something going on there at the minute. So I'm not going to be rude and intrude. Fantastic. Look at that bus. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Let's cross the road and have a look, shall we?
And yeah, there's almost certainly a coffee morning going on. There's glass at the front, over on that side. I can see a variety of chairs and people. So I'm not going to interrupt their coffee morning, but I can have a look at the church. And Wesley Court next door. Imagine living in one of these. With views like that when you wake up in the morning. Adorable windows. How oh, wonderful. Private drive, keep clear. Well, I'm not parking here. Oh, fantastic properties. Hmm. This is one nice place. Look at those hills over there. It's very similar to Dovedale, where I've been and climbed and got myself exhausted. But it was worth it just to see such beauty. Good grief. Okay, out of a mark of respect. The deceased stop filming if you've got a garden shed which is big enough you too can turn it into a shop because here's one right here fosters fine food and flowers now what a great idea what a wonderful little place Wait for the cars to turn, get out of my way, and they have done. There we go, look at this. What a super little place. Way. Okay, everybody. Defibrillators. Everywhere you go, defibrillators, which is a good thing. Well, what did you think of Chapel on the Frith? Quite a wonderful little place. Very old. Beautiful in its architecture and buildings. So I'll now go and find somewhere else. Equally as nice. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Because I appreciate every thumbs up I get. And I mean that. So take care all. I'll see you next time out. Big wagon!